one uh, when it comes to social media and even when it comes to you know major media in particular when when we're talking about you know like the relationship between black men and black women you can see that there's some type of animosity towards each other um you'll read on one side where you have black women what they'll say about black men and you'll read on another side where black men express what they feel about black women um so we're having some type of a disconnect there you know what i'm saying where do you feel that disconnect comes from system the system okay break that down for uh, me. basically remember when um like the woman wanted to be equal with the man like the job okay status so so now you got women making more money and some men can't handle that okay and then you got women making more money and they belittle men who don't okay you know what i'm saying so basically it's like a symptomatic problem to where I don't care how much money you make. If it's about you, it's about you. But now we're not doing that. So now a woman feels like she don't need a man right. because she tries to be the man. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's where the disconnect come from on that aspect. But then you got to think about the father. How many fathers are really in these kids' lives are in the picture? You know what I'm saying? So the disconnect comes from anger. Like okay. you want me to do everything and then you talk about me, you, you playing video games, mm -hmm. you don't work, right. you know what I'm saying? And then basically Section 8 and all of that stuff came in. Okay. So now, like a, a woman basically depends on the system, not all women, right? but right. some women depend on the system, so they don't really they don't need a man. Yeah, yeah, now I will definitely agree with what you're saying right there. Now, being that black women are the, uh, the, the biggest demographic of women who are graduating from college, Right. Um, that's definitely a case where you're starting to see that they're getting higher salaries. And at a lot of times, you know, you'll have women make more than men. So I guess we have to go to the uh, the whole subject of the position of women. Where is the position of a woman now in today's society? For me, like and a lot of people might not not like what I'm about to say. Go ahead. I think the woman is not where she needs to be. Like it's equal, like, okay. you know, what I'm saying like in, my, in, in, in the household, there is no head to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's equal. You do your job. Like, if I cut the grass, she cooks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving, you know what I'm saying, some um, some pointers. Okay. If if um, the car breaks down, I fix the car. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You watch the kids. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, it's like the woman has been dumbed down to me. I think that's why. And, and it also comes from incarceration. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so what, what the our numbers? 12 to 1? 14 to 1? I don't know. I would definitely have to look at the numbers on that. So I'm not going to throw any numbers out there right now. You know what I'm saying? Seven, seven to one. one. <laughs> okay. So it's seven to one? So okay. I thought we, it was a little lower than that. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. But I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I, I get what you're saying about that, um, especially when it comes to incarceration um, and men being incarcerated and the women have, having to pick up that, that load. Right. Definitely. They're putting a whole lot on the back. So basically it's like this. What I'm seeing and what a lot of bro other brothers are seeing and what they're speaking out about is the choice of man that our sisters tend to choose. Right. Where do you feel like that's coming that's, from? That, that comes from a learned behavior. It's crazy that you talk about that. Me and my niece talked about this last night. You date similar to what your parents date. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, 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 I'm, a, if I'm a person that, that likes a certain type of woman, like I, I, I used to like light. Well, I'm not gonna say I used to like light skinned women, but <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it like that. <laughs> but my point is, my preface was lighter women. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So my son, you know what I'm saying? He married a lighter woman, but his mother wasn't a lighter woman. Right. So basically, I stopped trying to look at at the outer of a person. You know what I'm saying? Because the light skin, the red bones. That's what he's calling back right, in the day. Right. So basically, it's like the red bone. So basically, if if you date a certain person and your kids are with you, then they see what you date. Right. And nine times out of ten, they're going to do what you do, not what you say. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's the biggest misconception. Do what I say, not what I do. But right. we visual learners. So basically, if, for instance, we had a conversation about the women being murdered right. and being abused. So if you see that, then nine times out of ten, you follow that. OK. You know what I'm saying? So my life almost went like my father's, mm -hmm. like to a T. OK. You know what I'm saying? So basically, and it's not that I was trying to do it, but it was already in me. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's where we get that from. Okay, okay. You have daughters. Right. What did you teach your daughters to, in order how to, how to stay away from that type of man, that negative man, that, that toxic man that we are referring to right now, that, that person that isn't doing what he's supposed to do out here doing his little street thing and all that and not really concentrating on his family, not definitely investing, not, not investing in his family, not investing in his time wisely, not investing in his money wisely. Um, also not trying to either acquire a business or get a good job. Someone out here is just reckless. What have you taught your daughters to avoid that? How, how, I mean, what have you done for that? Well, well sometimes, kind of um, you can you can show them, right? Um, I just try to be respectful. Um, I, I I never try to disrespect their mother. Okay. Um, I open the door for them. Okay. You know what I'm saying um, I close the door for them. Um, I remember I wrote them that first Valentine's card. I gave them a bear and a heart. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this is how you supposed to be treated. With that said, that my my middle daughter, she went she went left. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So she was in an abusive relationship you know what i'm saying so it's almost like you can do the best you can but at the end of the day sometimes you got to go through life man and, and just be there for them okay. like i am a realist okay um and this I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it this way and i hope people don't misconstrue what i'm saying i allow my daughters to do what they do mm. you understand what i'm saying now i'm not talking about letting somebody put their hands on them or nothing but sometimes you got to let your kids make that mistake and then explain to them why the mistake happened. As opposed to like, I think, um, I think you and me, me, me and you were talking, like we've always been taught to be strong. Right. But nobody really taught us how to be weak. Right. You know what I'm saying? So bottom line is when they're at their weakest, we, we want to pull them up, but we also want them to be able to pull itself up because there's going to be a time where we're not going to be there. Okay. So they're going to have to learn how to, you know what I'm saying, navigate through this thing we call life, man. This, okay. Trust me, like, I will never say that my daughter's better than anybody else's daughter because I don't think it's fair. You know what I'm saying? Because the same way I want somebody to treat my daughter is the same way the next man wants somebody to treat that daughter. That's right. But we don't have that. A mm -hmm. lot of dudes like a dog or woman, and then you get upset when somebody dog your daughter. Yeah. Like, you can't do that. I mean, you can do it, but you're painting a picture that's not real. That's not reality. Okay. Like, you can't do what you want to do okay. to somebody else's daughter. And then expect somebody to respect your daughter. Okay. And even though you said that happened to your middle daughter, right? Um, you would still encourage men to do exactly what you did. Still talk to them. Make oh, sure yes. that they oh, know yeah. their worth and everything. And just make sure that you do your job as a father. Right. You would still encourage that. You wouldn't say that that was a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? You set, you set a foundation for your daughter. Right. You know, and though, like you said, she went a little bit left, she's coming back now. You right. know what I'm saying? And eventually, praise God, you know, she'll, she'll find someone that, is going to treat it the right way and do right by her. You know right. what I'm saying? So before we even start this conversation, I said we were going to kind of go into uh, deep topics. So when pertaining to men, your evolution as a man um, in relationships, in regards to women, from teenager to now, how would you say you have evolved? And uh, how did you get there? Uh, first and foremost, I didn't have a blueprint. Okay. Like, you know, abusive relationship. You know what I'm saying? With my own parents. Okay. So uh, a mother who was unfaithful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So basically from five to 11, you seeing this. So where, where do you go? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? What path do you go down? Right. You know what I'm saying? So basically I chose both. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was a cheater and I was an abuser. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like con totally confused. Like I didn't know the middle. Okay. All I saw was this and this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So eventually, um, it took a dude like touching my sister. Okay. It's like the creator was like, yo, this is you. And it was like, it boom. I'm like, oh. So ever since then, it's like it's been a respect thing. And I always think about my mother, think about my sisters, and I think about my niece, and I think about my daughters. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can I uplift them if I'm down to somebody else? Right. You know what I'm saying? So bottom line is I always say the woman's first. I'm saying that's the one who we came through. Okay. So when I started getting into spirituality, it basically took me down a path to where, like, if you think about this, a, mo a mother risk her life to give birth. Right. It's a 50-50 chance that she can live or die. Mm. That How many other people doing that? Nobody. 
You know what I'm saying? So that right there, I'm like, yo, my mom risked her life to bring me here. So why would I disrespect somebody that's like her? So right. that's my evolution of turning the corner, mm -hmm. being respectful. And, and and like, come on, some some females, you, you got to put your foot down, but not be disrespectful in doing it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some women I wish I can be like, no, nah, you 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 def you definitely wrong. <laughs> like, gotcha. get up out of here with that. Like, cause no, right, because right. if we were to do it, and we like you just said, men, we get we get blew out of like everything gets blown out of proportion with us. Right, right. But women are more abusive than men. Oh, okay. You so, know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a fact. <laughs> let's go. Let's go down that alley. Women are more abusive than men. Break that down for me. Basically, if you look up the stats, women hit men more than men hit women. Ooh. The only thing is. They are, I guess they're small, they're petite, they're a woman. So if you you can't call like, yo, can you come get them and she beat me up? Mm. You call the cops, they're gonna come in the house and be like. <laughs> Especially you. Like, really dude, like, come on, like, man, come on, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Right, so basically right. like, it's, it's like, it's like a hit or miss. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, but I did research on that, man. Like okay. women are, trust me, women, women, they built the goat. Oh yeah, okay. They, they now I they knew that women different. were definitely verbally abusive. Right. You know, um, I've heard a lot of brothers, you know, say that you know as soon as they come in the house, you know, they didn't even want to go in the house because right. their their castle was such a disorder. You know, to where as soon as they went in, they knew that they were going to be you know just emasculated in some way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that that's a deep topic that you're talking about uh, when you when you're talking about women being abusive, like I said, verbally and physically right. as well. I didn't know that about right. women, you know, putting their hands on men way right. more than uh, way more than women. Right. I had no idea about that. Um, so, you as an unevolved man, we're not even gonna say unevolved. We're just gonna say the man that you were at that time. Like I said, teenager to when, what age would you say where it clicked? 26. 26. That's 27. when everything kind of cleared up for right. you. You started getting more respect for women. From from teenagers to 26, what type of mentality did you walk around with? Because a lot of women want to know that. You know, they want to know why men cheat on them. They want to know I why. Hated, I, hated, I hated my mama. You hated your mom? Yeah, I hated. I hated my mom and my dad. Like, it was a time that I literally thought about taking their lives. Like, real talk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I was tired of it. Like, you're confusing me. Mm -hmm. You tell me to do this, but you're doing this. Okay. He tells me to do this, but you're doing this. So basically, I always say this. Find out the man in a woman's life as a father, and you will find out who that woman is. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you will literally find out who that woman is. Okay. Because she's learned from her father. If she's been abused, if she's been neglected, that's going to carry over. Like, and the crazy thing is, like, when I was in Christianity, I used to tell women, look, I'm trying, I'm celibate. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to wait. And they used to laugh. And I'm thinking, like, that's supposed to be the greatest turn on. But it wasn't. It was the biggest turn off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, I'm trying to be respectful to you, but you don't want me to be respectful to you. So that's when I started looking at, like, is your father in your life? No, he's not. Then it started clicking. Okay. Like a lot of women, as far as men too, a lot of women, like, uh, they have father issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it carries on to relationships. So how do you have a balance? You don't have a balance. Because no man was there to show you how to be treated. So now you're learning on TV. You're learning about jokers. Like you said, you, a dude spit the game to you. For a month, he 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 perfect. Then all of a sudden, this real him come out. Mm -hmm. Now you like, yo, I can, who can you trust? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, like I am scared to get in a relationship. Wow, scared to get in a relationship. Yeah, like, who are you for real? Like, give me what you are at the door. Right. Don't uh, give it to me. Exactly, bro. <laughs> all of it. Like, if you cuss, right. if you smoke, if you anything that that you have a problem with, let's talk about it right now and let me decide. If I want to deal with that, and I'm gonna give you all of me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you decide this, like, dude. I always say this. I love sports. Mm -hmm. Give me some love in there now and then. You okay. can have the rest. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, I'm a simple dude. They call me boring. My daughter's like, "Dad, you boring? No, I'm safe. Mm. Like, I eat. <laughs> I eat the same thing when I go to the restaurant. I'm not trying something different. Right. And people are like, well, that's kind of boring. No, 
I know what I like because if you bring me something I don't like, I didn't pay for it. Now I'm gonna be upset. Right. When I should have just got what I usually get. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm the same way with women. Like, dude, give me a strong woman who speaks her mind, who's not afraid to be a leader. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of woman I want. I don't want some woman on the back, but behind me. I need you beside me. Mm-hmm. Trent, I'm not the head of you. I came through you. So how okay. can I be the head of you? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's that, that's my take on that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, as far as um, the question of, like I said, the, the question of cheating, you know, let's, let's get on that subject right there. I've never cheated before. Right. And, you know, it's not, and that's not me telling you or suggesting to you that I'm any better than you. Definitely not, oh, because I have my good. flaws. You know, um, I've watched porno um, in a relationship, which is right. cheating. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're playing Mentally. with yourself. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So it's the same thing. So right. I've done that. So I guess you could say that I cheated, but with a, with another physical person, I've never done that. What what goes through the male mind when when a male is doing that? Uh, for for me, it was like a um, a goal. Like how many can I get? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like a game. Like bro, I remember, t- bro, I had four four women. At one time? At once. How? Bro, like Your stress it, level had it, to be it, crazy. Bro, no, I, I was cool. You got to think about where I came from. Mm-hmm. I've been in the battle, battle zone in my own home with my father and my mother. Mm-hmm. So to me, that was peace. It gave me peace. I hated women. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hated women because of my mother. You know what I'm saying? I didn't trust men because of my father. So my thing is, yo, every woman I can get, I'm going to get because of what my mom did to my dad. Mm. So to me, it was like a get back. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, bro, I just, just set my sights on people. Like, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? And hey, back in the day, coach was a player. Coach, we can look at you right now. You're a good looking brother now. <laughs> right. hey, you know what I'm saying? So we can just imagine what you were. Man, I, I was horrible. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was. <laughs> horrible. It's, it's good that you can admit it, though. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I can admit my flaws, of course. You know what I'm saying? You admitted your flaws. Man. Now, at, at, at this point in, in your life, like you said, you're wanting a, a strong, dedicated, faithful woman that just comes to you straight up front. You know what I'm right. saying? Just this is who I am, flaws and all. So you're suggesting that that women do that, that women just show you who they are as right. soon as they introduce themselves to you. Why not? I mean, what? so bottom line is I give you this pretend guy right open the door three weeks later i ain't opening the door no more Mm -hmm. so you get accustomed to me opening the door so if that's what you are that's what you are Mm -hmm. if you're not don't front like dude i don't open the door if if you're not a door opener say look i don't open the door for you okay you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna pull your child okay i'm not gonna say yo i like your hair you did something different if that's who you are then let that woman decide if that's who she want to be with Okay. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. If okay. that's who you are, let that man decide if he want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the, bro, we grown. Mm-hmm. Like, we ain't in the sandbox. Right. Like, we grown men and women. And the bottom line is communication is what's lacking in a whole lot of relationships. You know, I, I asked that question uh, on Facebook the other day. I said, what's men's biggest flaw? Do you Did you see how many women oh, said communication. communication, 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 and listening? They say we're not great. We're not good listeners. But that's, that's other people. OK. That my thing was I was a communicator. Mm-hmm. My wife wasn't. I was a listener. My wife wasn't. OK. So basically you can't be that and then you don't get it back. OK. Like I can sit here and, and not say a word for an hour and listen to you because of coaching, mm-hmm. mentoring, counseling. Mm-hmm. That's what you have to do. How can I talk over you? The one thing I can't stand is like when I'm going through something. Like, say you say, coach, now I'm going through this, man, I know exactly what you mean. Right. Oh, my, if you don't shut up, <laughs> like, stop doing that. Like, right. no, you don't know exactly what I mean. You're not me. Right. If a death in your family, a death in your family is going to hit you different than a death in the, my family. You know what I'm saying? A death is going to hit me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I lost my father before. Yeah, but maybe you weren't close to your father. Maybe right. y'all ain't have a, you know what I'm saying, a great relationship. You can't tell me you feel the same way because we, we are different. Okay. So when people always say that, like women are telling the truth, communication, men have a hard time crying. Men have a hard time being weak. And we talked about that. We've been taught to be so strong that we feel like it's soft to be weak. 
like it's soft to cry. Man, look, dude, bro, I cried today because my daughter, I thought she walked somewhere. I'm in my truck, like, calling her, like, where is she at? It's 90 degrees out here. I'm bawling. Right, right. And then come to find out, she go, she caught a ride to where she needed to go. Okay. But that's the kind of stuff, like, dude, my mom, it's one thing I love my mom. She instilled in me to be soft. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't come until 28, 29, mm -hmm. 30. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To where I'm like, you know what? I'm who I am, man. Like, yeah, I never fronted in front of y'all. Right. Am I the same Coach Bishop that you met? I don't think so. I'm, I'm talking about... Like I'm realist, is what I'm saying. Right, like you're I'm definitely realist. Realist, right, realist. Right, right, you know what I'm right. saying? But I'm more humbled now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I like, and I, I listen to people. Like people, like some people will judge you because of your past. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they hold on to that. But he's. I remember when he used to fight. I remember mm -hmm. he was in the street and he used to do. I right. Fight. Right. I ain't fighting Let me let nobody. me speak on that right there. Now you said uh, you know people judge you by your past. Um, I had one of your videos up, and. Um, a person that saw that video uh, referred to you as a he goat, <laughs> and I was, "What the hell is that?" It was like that's what they call him over in Ghana. He's a he goat. He, he sleeps around with a whole bunch of different women. I said, "Well, who's to say this man hasn't changed?" I mean, is they that not possible? Me? Yes, bro. I said, "Well, as you just stated earlier, oh, brother, yeah. right. you know, what I'm saying you got around, and you know, Ronald ain't nothing but a hundred thousand strong. Right. You know, twenty five, thirty thousand black." You know what I'm saying? And only your generation and a little bit more of that, you know, word is going to get around. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I responded to that person. I said, so you don't think a man can change ever? I don't think they can change. He said I, that? This is a she. Oh, she said I that? I don't think they can change. I said, well, why don't you think they can change? Because a man, once he's that way, he's always that way. Why did, I, why did I get that response from that woman? We in 2021? Yeah. From 2010, one, two, three women. 2010 to now? Three, three women. women. So you have changed. So my point is this, like, <laughs> don't don't tell me what I can't do. Right, right, You know what I'm right. saying? First and foremost, I had to find me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's women like that, no disrespect to the queen, that make it hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to judge me by what you think. Right, right. Yeah, bro, if I told you from, whew, I used to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, bro, no bones about it. But at the end of the day, I got nothing from it. Mm -hmm. But well, I ain't got no trophy. You know what I'm saying? And people look at me like, you got, you got four kids, three different mamas. I was like, okay, I was with my, my, my daughter's mama for four years. Okay. I was with my son's mama for nine years. Mm -hmm. I was with my daughter's, my last two daughters' mama for 12 years. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't sticking and moving. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It was long relationships. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was never unfaithful to my to my wife. I was unfaithful to, to my son's mom mm -hmm. because I was growing. I right. was trying to grow. And she taught me a lesson. She taught me the greatest lesson ever. Mm -hmm. Never take for granted what you have because you can't lose it. Okay. And I respect her to the fullest for that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, she's like my best friend now. Okay. Because she taught me a lesson. Gotcha. So everything that I put her through, my, my former wife didn't have to go through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because she built that. Mm. So basically, I let her lead. So a next woman got the prize. Right. Yeah, and she used to say that. Yeah, she lucky. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I put all this work in, and she and she got, you know what I'm saying? She benefited from it. You know what I'm saying? I got, you, I got That's kind of... Fucked up too. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah, but I mean, but like if if I could go back, like I definitely would have married Tony. Okay. Definitely the strongest woman. Our family, like I'm still close to her family. I'm still close to my former wife's family. Okay. Like we all have great relationships, but the relationship I have with my son's mom, mm -hmm. it is unbelievable, man. And her husband, like it was a time I couldn't stand them. But mm -hmm. I had to look in the mirror like, bro, how are you going to be mad at him when you doing it? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I think and I, and I posted that like I told you on TikTok. Yo, if a woman don't want to be with you, man, let it go. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, swallow your pride. Mm -hmm. But we so egotistical like we no. Oh, what's the first thing we asked? And I don't know if you did this. Was he better than me? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't. I didn't no, that. I'm not saying. <laughs> right. But that, have you heard of that before? I have heard of that. Like, my yeah, point yeah, is yeah. like, why? Right. Like, why does that matter? Ego. So, like, but exactly. Ego. So we put so much on sex. I told a girl, I was like, so if we would never ever, if I could never ever perform, mm -hmm. 
how can we stay together? Mm. Let's see now, if we ain't on a mental level, then right. we will never be able to stay together because it's gonna come a time to where you're not gonna be able to perform. Mm. And what keeps you there? The physical or the mental? Right. So my thing is, if you ain't got the mental, I don't, I don't wanna be with you. I understand that. Because if you all about physical, right, right. you gone. That's phileo. That's all it is, is a feeling. That's the, the, the love that they say. I don't want no love, I need passion. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Passion push you past pain, hurt, and all that other stuff. But as soon as you get in your feelings, it's like running. And you know what I'm talking about, Coach D. You get tired, I'm stopped. <laughs> okay, am, okay. Am I right? But when you got passion for something, it's gonna push you through that pain. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I guess that's why it's so hard for me to really find a queen. Like, Listen to what you just said. You said, to get the love, I want passion. Yes. Okay, so me and Big Don were talking about this the other night uh, with Kev Cooper, actually. And uh, we were talking about the definition of love or what is love to you? So what is love to you? What is what, love what to are, are we going biblical? No, we're going uh, to uh, what to you me, feel love, love is? Love is hit or miss. Okay. Love is, like I just said, love is a feeling. Because at the end of the day, if you love me, no mm -hmm. matter what I do, and I'm not talking about abuse, I'm talking about in general, like just messing up. Right. How can you leave me? Mm -hmm. If you truly love me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's my definition of love. You know what I'm saying? So bottom line is like, I don't care what you put me through. If I signed up for this, this is what I signed up for. Right. But right. you will put up with it through a job. You let a job disrespect you, yeah. <laughs> do all kind of stuff to you, and then you're supposed to love this man or woman, and as soon as they go left, you gone right. Right. So okay. well, give me the passion. passion. You, got, you can have passion. the love. Okay. So passion, like you said, passion that puts you through the tough times. You know right. what I'm saying? That that uh, that feeling to where I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to go. I want to keep you. I need you right. here with me. It's that uh, it's that bond, that connection. You know, I say a contractual agreement within within the mind right. and heart. You know what right. I'm saying? That's exactly what passion and, and, and love to me is um, as well. All right. So, I mean, I like that, though. You I mean, remember, I've never heard a person say the hell with love. Let's go to passion. Uh, so when me, and, when me and my daughters get off the phone, we say passion. Okay. And we always end with this. Mm -hmm. This is what peace is. Mm -hmm. This is war. Okay. It's division. Right. That's why it's not together. And we got people throwing a peace sign up which is the war sign. Mm -hmm. That's why we divide it. We need to come together. Okay. So the peace brings you together. And we was talking about fatherhood. Remember we were talking about right, that during right, the right. text. Definitely. And um, this is when, and, and I'm about, I might cry. I might tell. Man, if you do, bro, if you do. I mean, right, I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> so the last day for my daughters being in Roanoke. Right. And I talked to you about that. Right. So I got a job offer at, um, uh, North Cross to mm -hmm. coach. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, when I dropped them off over their grandmas and I knew they were gone, like we, that grandma was like, yo, she had to leave the room. We, I mean, I think we cried for like 15, 20 minutes. Like, it's like, dad, no, don't, don't, don't leave us. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm letting them down. You know what I'm saying? So understand and this is for women, understand that there are men who care about their kids. Definitely. Mind the bullshit with the system and the child support. And don't get me wrong, some dudes need to pay child support. Right. And them the ones who's not in their life. Right. Not the brothers who trying to be there. Like my whole life from 2010, bro, has been child support. That's one of the reasons I was homeless. Not because I'm lazy, not because I don't want to work, but when you got to pay $10,000 to somebody, Mm -hmm. And that clean your whole bank account out because you're telling me what I'm not as a father. So that passion drove me to not be out of my daughter's lives when they was in Charlotte every other weekend, back and forth, burning the interstate up. When I didn't feel like it, I pushed through. So that's not love, bro. Mm. That's passion. That's passion. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of dudes that live in the same city with their kids. Don't go see them. God, do we know that? So what kind of love is that? I don't but know. you said, but you tell them you love them, right? Now love. Now, if you want to say, now I'll give you this: love is an action word. Then, show me. Okay. But passion supersedes that for me, because I ain't got to show you. I'ma prove it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'ma never let you down. P 
period. And that's the same thing I told y'all as players. I'm your coach till I die. And I meant that. I ain't got a lot of money, but if you want to talk, I can listen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You need help going somewhere. You need help picking up something, deliver. I got you. That's, we, we got to take money out of the equation mm -hmm. because the system is geared to take the man out of the picture. Mm -hmm. And now, that's for you have girls like my middle daughter who struggled because I wasn't there but never told her mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, yo, it hurt. Like, I couldn't see my daddy every day. I got to call him on the phone. Like, why would you do that? So you thought about yourself before you thought about your kids. And that's the way I look at it. I would never, ever put a woman before my kids. Right, right. That's probably some of the reasons why I don't date. Because I done had girls like, can I take a picture? A picture of who? Mm -hmm. A picture of my daughters? Why? Like, what was you, you going to do with it? Post it? Okay. And I was like, you know what? We, we got to dead that right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? After six months with you, I thought, it, thought I could bring my daughters around you to see if they liked you. Because if they say, ah, dad, then that's what I go with. People like you crazy. Nah, mm. they first. Okay. Over any woman other than my mom's. Okay. You understand me? So if they say no, they say no. Okay. <laughs> Next I, I know I went off. <laughs> my bad. Went around Robin Hood. No, no, no. That's, that's where we need to go. You know what I'm saying? We're talking like this. This is where we want this to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, speaking on, you said that your, that your wife, uh, pretty much made a decision to where she said, I'm going to go ahead and leave. And though it may not be the best for my children, this is a decision that I want to make for myself. So in thinking that she made that decision, I say this to myself, there had, there had to been something there that had her or made her think that way. What I'm breaking down is this right here. In, in my last relationship, I would like to think that I was the perfect individual, the perfect person, the perfect man. Right. Just because I didn't call my woman out of her name, I didn't beat my woman, <laughs> and, and I did not strike my woman right. at any time. Definitely not the perfect man. I look back at myself, and I didn't date for a long time. Just like you're in that transition right now, I didn't date for a long time because I had to study myself. And I said to myself, what could you have done better in this relationship? And I said to myself, you know what? Attention. That's one thing I could have definitely done better. Instead of playing Madden from the time I got off of work right. at 4 o'clock to the time I Respect. went to bed at 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I could have been up under my woman hugging her, holding her, fixing her some dinner, you know, uh, bringing her a drink in bed, something like that, rubbing her feet, you know, fixing bath water, something right. like that. Going to a park, having a picnic. I could have been doing so much more, you know, other than just doing what I was doing. Going out, hanging out with friends instead of being with my woman. You know what I'm saying? So the attention aspect, I think, was my biggest flaw. Right. Though I was doing things right as a man, um, as far as, like I said, being faithful um, and, and keeping the respect, I had this big flaw right here. And, and I can't blame her for what she did at the right. end. You know what I'm saying? I really can't blame her for what she did at the end. Now, what she did at the end definitely hurt her brother. It killed the brother inside. And there was something I think that needed to happen. Right. So I would be molded and made for my wife because now my wife, as you said with Tony, you know, now my wife has the, the finished product. Right. OK, I had these issues, these flaws, and I still got flaws and I'm right. still working out. But the great thing about my wife and the reason why I love her so much is that she calls my flaws out. She doesn't stay silent. Wow. That was the that was the biggest issue with my last uh, my last one. You know what I'm saying? And. This ain't no knock to her. She was a wonderful person. You know, definitely is a wonderful person. What I'm saying is, I think that was one of her flaws. She she didn't speak out against my flaws. Right. If F B ain't getting attention, <laughs> B gonna tell you. <laughs> Kudos to her. You know yo. what I'm saying? Respect. Hey, no, you ain't going to interview Bishop tonight. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gonna stay here tonight. You gonna watch some wrestling with me tonight, right. even though. You know, this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to sit up. We're going to sit down on the sofa. We're going to watch some wrestling tonight. So what I'm saying is when it comes to your, your ex-wife um, making that move, was that. there anything that you were doing that could have possibly? I'm, 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 excuse me, Kenya. I'm glad you said that. So as a child, my father and my mother, we, they never, we never went out to eat. Right. I don't remember Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Like, so 
my thing was every Friday mm -hmm. we're going to eat. Okay. She took it as me being controlling. Oh, okay. But for me, it's a family night. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, I was trying to do things that my father didn't do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know if I did it the right way. But in her eyes, it was like, you trying to control me. Okay. But I'm like, you're picking the restaurant. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, my thing is like, and if you don't want to go, but like you said, the communication piece, she wouldn't call my flaws out. Okay. Okay. She would just let it go. And that's the worst thing. Yeah, because now you, you're mad. Right. And then your heart gets hard. Right. And now you're like, yo, I don't, I don't really like this man. Right. But you, but you, you just like, yo, you're the kindest man I've ever met in my life. You help people. You love kids. But then come around and like, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, I had my flaws. I was an insecure man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? In my marriage. Because my father was an insecure man because of my mother. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about that DNA and mm -hmm. that makeup, dude, I was the, I was jealous. I'm like, why are you jealous? Like, dude, like, let it go. But I couldn't, I heard myself saying it, mm -hmm. but I couldn't get myself past it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically, I pushed her away, but at the end of the day, it still, to me, comes down to your kids. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what's best for your kids? I get it. I get what you're saying. But but also I get what you're oh, saying yeah. is and I pushed her oh, away. Yeah. Most definitely. And, and I felt the same thing for, for what I did. You know right. what I'm saying? Is is well, if this dude ain't going to show me no attention, there's somebody out there that's going right. to show me some attention. So I'm going to go ahead and rock with that. Regardless right. of how reckless it is, I'm going to go ahead and rock with that so I can understand the decision making. The, the woman is a complex Ooh. being. Oh. She really is. And I was told by an older woman, she said, when a black woman gets silent, that's when you need to worry. Right. You know? And the thing is, is that the black, these black women, there was some white women on there as well that, that expressed their concern about our communication skills and our listening skills. When it comes to that right there, how can we communicate if you're not talking? Right. That's the thing. Right. That's the worst thing to do, sisters. I, that's the worst thing to do. Right. Is not to talk to your man. I mean, it's not always going to go to some type of escalation, some type of argument. Sometimes you can just sit down with your man and just, hell, rub his back, do whatever. You know what right. I'm saying? Hey, let me talk to you for a second. Let me break it down to you. You know, make it plain. You know, and we just don't get that from. Now I get that now. Right. From my wife. Right. <laughs> let me get that out there. Right. But yeah. like I said, we don't. We don't. We <laughs> didn't. I didn't get that before. You didn't get that before. You know. So. We're discussing right now how important it is for women to communicate with us. So was it us that is it us that lack communication or is it them? Or is I think it, both? it I think it's both because like I said, like with me and my son's mom, like I was all in, she mm -hmm. wasn't. She was all in, I wasn't. Okay. So it's like we could never like meet at the same time to mm -hmm. where I, you know what? Let's lock it down. You know what I'm saying? So basically now you don't want to communicate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, she ain't saying nothing, so I'm not going to say nothing. And I think we need to do a better job. It's like, yo, you good? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Look, come on now, baby. What's going on? Like, instead of walking away, but we get an attitude. You know what I'm saying? You good? I'm good. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to watch the game. You know what I'm saying? And really not thinking. <laughs> right. She really wants you to talk to her. Right. But our ego... And the same thing with the woman. They do the same thing. You good, baby? I'm straight. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going here and do my... Instead of just sitting down like, yo, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. You know, so I used to ask my wife, like, you good? I'm all right. Mm -hmm. I was like, you want to talk about it? No, I'm good. And I'm like, I'm not fucking... You know what I'm saying? In my mind, I'm like, yo, all right. I didn't try mm -hmm. But did I really try? My wife took me by the hand and she said... When I'm mad at you and I'm not speaking to you, let me have my peace for a second. You know what I'm talking about? Like, give me an hour or two. Right. You know, I'm not gonna talk to you right then and there, you know. <laughs> but come back and have wow. this discussion. That's this this you know what I'm saying? Bro. Bethany is the shit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hey, can you clone her for me? <laughs> <laughs> Bethany is the shit, you know I mean? because like I said, she's just straightforward with it. And I, I just think that's Think Just about that powerful. Is. That's powerful yeah. though. Yeah. Like, but at the end of the day, she told you. Took me by the hand. Like, hey, 
I don't want to do it right now. Right. But give me about an hour. Right. That's big. Because right. now, guess what you thinking? All right, all shit. Right. You ain't really playing no games. Right. You in there thinking. Right. Like, like what's going what on? in the world is really going <laughs> what on? What did I do? Did I do? <laughs> what was I at yesterday? Uh, was I, did I go to the store I said I was going to? Like, But my point is, but see, if you're thinking in a relationship, mm -hmm. it keeps it better. Okay. It keeps it. it the, the fire is still in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, a dude said this on um, Fireproof. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, you, you, you have to... You you know your wife from kindergarten to twelfth grade. You got to get your master's and doctor's degree on her. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, woo, ooh, bro. I'm like, yeah. You you just went from K to twelve. Ooh, you know what I'm saying. Then you went four years, but you ain't get the masters and the doctors. So basically, you stop trying to learn her. Mm -hmm. Like you would never learn your wife fully. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And that, but that's the beautiful thing of growing. Mm -hmm. Because now, guess what? I got to keep going. Right. I got to keep going. Like, right. I'm not going to. No, I got to keep going. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying? Like, dude, I'm super proud of you because, like, that. Yeah. Man, look, I'm telling you, the other day, probably about three days ago, I was feeling down about something. Uh, you know, feeling down about a whole lot of different things. And it was just a funk that just came over. There wasn't no reason for it because everything in my life is going okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? But as you know, your life can be going okay and this negative energy for some odd reason will kind of hit you. And she read that on me, you know what I'm saying? Because we connected like that. She said, what's wrong? And I said, nothing. Walked out the house and went on to the lab and did some work and she didn't let it go that way. You know, she texted me, you know I love you, right? Wow. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I cried, Joe, when I when I saw the text. I mean, I bawled like a baby, bro. Like she said, you know I love you, right? And I was like, yes, I know you. And then my life, my 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 whole like day brightened up. At just one text, just let's, I mean, just one text. Right. Just that just that action right there can change everything in a man. You know what I'm saying? So I say that to say this, like when you have a man and you see that he's moping around and, and maybe not doing too well and, and kind of in a mental fog, help him out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the position of woman and man. We're supposed to help each other out that fog. How do you feel about that? Oh, I mean, man, my, my thing is like, um, and I had I had a thought when you said that, um, like we we consume the, we, we are so consumed with everything else, mm -hmm. our job. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so we will allow a job to ruin our lives. Mm -hmm. When it's a person sitting right at their house, sleeping right next to you that got your back. Right. More than anybody ever could have it. Mm -hmm. But we, it's a consumer-based economy, right? Mm -hmm. So the phones. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I used to tell my wife, yo, I used to send a pic. Imagine that. I'm like, yo, this is how you keep the flame going. Right, right. But it's yours. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like right, so, right. like to me, like let's let's act like we're in high school, right? You know what I'm saying? Let's have a high school night. Be playful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> dude, like what how, what sparked you? Mm -hmm. Like me and my me and my uh, former wife met three times before we even knew each other. Okay. I, I'm like, dude, I don't want you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then it was like, yo, feelings start growing, and it was times that I wanted to lead a relationship. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, yo, you can't quit. Your parents quit. Mm -hmm. And that's not good to do. Because now you really don't want to be there. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So right. now that's when the trust issues come. Wow. That's when the jealousy comes. So mm -hmm. now stuff, like you just said, negative energy is just seeping in my mind. Right, right. Because I don't want to be here. Right. I'm thinking she don't want to be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then when she didn't want to, bro, when I tell you, the words that she said, look, I don't want this no more. Bro, I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not quitting. But the more I fought, the worse it got. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, take get your hands off of it. Take your hands off of it. And it came to a point, man, to where I went 21 days, I couldn't even see my daughters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, I got doggone restraining order. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, why you got your hands on something that you can't control? Right. You can't control. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so, but that helped me, bro. If I had to go through the same thing with her again, I'd do it a million times mm -hmm. because it made me the father I am today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I respect her. Like, I talk to her. 
we we not where we need to be cordially. But like I told her, I love her. And I could tell you this and I can tell him this. I love her the same like I was still married to her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like my feelings have never changed for her. Period. But I know how to separate them. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? So when I say that, most of them, boy, how you going to love somebody else? I already told you. I don't do the love thing. The next thing is passion. Mm -hmm. When I say I love her, that's 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 my that's my you know I'm saying the, the mother of my daughters, and I always tell her. I told her a uh, former husband, if my if my daughters call and say that you did anything, you better get a box, you better get a rifle, you better get something because I'm coming hell bent for the election. Right, right. And I might not come back, but right. you will never disrespect her, mm -hmm. and you will never disrespect them. You know what I'm saying? The people say, well, you out of line. No, I'm not. Because if something happened to their mom, it happens to them. Right. And that's the way I started looking at life. Yo, how can I hurt somebody else's child? Mm -hmm. Even if it was a grown woman, it's still somebody's daughter. Right, right. So why would I want to, like, hurt them and then respect, I want you to respect mine? Mm -hmm. We got to get that out of the way. We got to stop doing that. Right. Because this dude's out here now dogging women. Mm -hmm. But touch that ass. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill you, but but won't the daddy told that to you? Because we fathers, right? Huh? Like, no, we will get at you. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we ain't like these other like, dude. I'm I'm embedded in my right. kids' lives. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, same respect you want for yours is the same respect you need to give to others. Mm -hmm. So that's my motto, and that's what I live by. Okay. Period. Now. If me and a girl, we have a, a, a one night stand or whatever, that's an agreement. Okay. And that's what a lot of people like, when well, you sleep, hold on. It's not like I'm leading women on. Like if I say, yo, this is what it is and what it is, and we have an agreement, we're adults. Right. So why are you worried about what we're doing? Right. Why are you worried about who I'm with? Right. We had an agreement. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now if I'm leading her on, like, yo, you my girl, and. And I'm over here with five, six different other women, bro. That's that's the BS. I like how you brought that up just now. You know, when it comes to men, if if it is some ass that you want, then just be straight up. Exactly. With that. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't mislead a woman in, into making her think that you're wanting something more than just this ass. I mean, your ass was fat as hell in them jeans. We drank a lot of daggone drinks in the daggone club. And right. hey, it's time to put them cheeks up in the air. Exactly. <laughs> Damn, after oh, them yeah. cheeks up in the air. We get done, it's over from here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just let that be known. I think a lot of that, what you said, goes on where men tend to um, embellish, you know, to get in some draws. Right. You know what I'm saying? Line, what, what's the um, thin line between love and hate? Right. Bro, don't ever say you love him. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then what did he do? You you said the L word. Right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? So bottom line is you knew you didn't want to be with this woman. Mm -hmm. It was all a, a plot and a plan. Like mm -hmm. she got this money. You, you're like, look, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see if I can get her and I got her. Yo, and now she she's crazy. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think that's we just like, bro, bottom line communication to be honest. Okay, okay. Bottom line, man. Right, right. I, and like I said, I, I went through a self study myself, you know, and I think that's important <clears throat> for men to do is to really sit back and, and call out our own shit. Right. You know, because we don't we don't tend to want to do that, like you said, because of that toxic ego problem that we right. have. Well, I'm perfect. No, <laughs> far from perfect. There are things that we do wrong. I think that men definitely, before getting in, in the arena of relationship, marriage, things like that, to actually kill themselves and rebirth themselves. You know, my journey in spirituality was to take myself to the bowels of hell and and come out of that you know what i'm saying right. back back to man you know what i'm saying back to where i'm supposed to be right let's go to this lowest point you know what i'm saying to where you're at your lowest point and build yourself back up you know i mean really mentally destroy yourself right. you know what i'm saying this is what you are this is what you are this is the problem that you have this is the problem with you have. it takes so much to do that has there ever been times where you've been by yourself and you just let it go like you just uh, cried like I, I, hours, just couldn't couldn't stop. August eighteenth, that's okay. the last time I worked. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to live. Mm. Literally, like the pain was too much, um, and it just made me think like I ain't seen my daughters in a while. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you how I know that you are supposed to work with kids. Mm -hmm. My two little cousins came in my life. Okay, the one I just took to practice. 
So that's your purpose. Like, so bottom line is like, <laughs> like, but we related. We mm -hmm. found this out like three years ago. I've been knowing them since they were six or seven. Mm -hmm. And I brag on like people like, man, you always talk, bro. They saved my life. Mm -hmm. I owe them. Mm -hmm. So anything I got, they got. Mm -hmm. But I also was respectful enough to ask my daughters, would it be okay if I work with them? Mm -hmm. They said, pops, you've been doing this before we were born. It is who you are. Mm -hmm. Now say no more. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Say no more. So... I, don't, I can't give up. I got okay. people watching me. And gotcha. I think we said, don't worry about you because the mistakes you make are going to affect everybody that you touched during your life. Right. So when you fall, everybody's going to fall hard with you. Okay. Whether they get blamed for it or not, they're going to feel it. They're going to feel everything. If I went out here and, and killed somebody, all y'all going to feel this. Right. Every player that I touched, every kid I mentored, everybody's going to feel that. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So bottom line, it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about y'all. So that's how I live my life. I don't live for Marty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I live for my kids. I live for y'all. I live to help people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So being broke ain't nothing to me mm -hmm. because I got peace. Right. And you can't buy that. Oh, no. You definitely can't buy that. You know what I'm peace. saying? People... Look, dude, I'm, I'm good. I got the same truck I done had since 2011. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Smith, rest in power. Sold me the truck for $1,700 when I was homeless. Mm. He said, give me $100 a month. The same man that gave me a job at the Y who trusted and believed in me from Wisconsin when nobody else believed in me. So it's crazy how people from outside of your city, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm still trying to understand. Like, why do we hate each other so much? In the city? Yes. It is a lot of animosity towards each other. In but this is my thing, though, Kevin. And you said it. <laughs> if, you, if I ask you a question yeah. and you honest with me, mm. how am I going to get mad? I don't know. I asked you a question and I asked you to be honest. Mm. I know, Coach, I don't like that. Mm. I'm going to shoot, man. You're going to hate it. Man, if you don't like it, I'm not going to be mad at you because that's your opinion. Exactly. And technically, I like that because now I'm like, why he don't like it? Mm-hmm. Like, now that's going to help me. Like, okay, so what was I doing wrong? That's mm -hmm. like with Coach Lovelace. People are like, you don't like Coach Lovelace? I said, who told y'all that? Because I don't want to coach. They ain't got nothing to do with Coach Lovelace. Mm -hmm. Period. I love him. I told him, when you when I saw you run them 110s, mm -hmm. I fell in love with you right then and there because <laughs> we hadn't had a coach do that in how long, Donald, since me? Understand what I'm saying? So yeah. now I know you invested. Because you're going to get out here and do the work. Right. If they see you grinding, what's your excuse? Mm -hmm. Ain't no more excuses. I just don't want to coach football. I love working with girls. Okay. I have three daughters. And I know what, uh, bro, well, I got four do five daughters now, my little cousin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I call that, I, I, let me say six, because okay. I got a goddaughter. You know what I'm saying? So my point is, like, I love what I do now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm back at Fleming doing what I love. Mm -hmm. So bottom line is like, I'm good. Man.